this is not how we're taught to live, is it? And sometimes um, people will become quite upset because it, we, we've got this obsessive need to plan. This obsessive need to plan. You no, know, no, we have to plan, don't we? But, but not much. But we have this thing that I've got to, I've got to plan this way. I've got to. It's got to be like this. This is, this is how it's got to be. It's got to be according to my plan. And of course, it's not like the plan, is it? And then we're stressed and upset and agitated because well, it's not going according to plan. Well, of course it isn't. If the world is not going according to your plan, then you've got two choices, haven't you? You could change the world, or you could alter your plan. <laughs> because if the world is not going according to your plan, it is telling you something very, very important. It's telling you you're wrong. Not the world is wrong, not reality is wrong, you are wrong. And that's a really useful thing to know. Because then you can adapt and change according to reality rather than spending your life in resistance to reality because it didn't fit your plan. And how we suffer, don't we? It's not going right! It's not like I thought it would be, it's not like it should be. Somebody asked my nine-year-old son the other day, he said, what would you like to be when you grow up? I said, don't be so silly, it hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> because, what a stupid question. Asking a nine-year-old with an understanding of a nine-year-old in the world of today to tell you what they want to be. It's very likely that what he will end up doing doesn't even exist yet. Maybe he'll even create it. But he ain't going to do that if he's following the plan. That's where I'm going. Yep, 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 yep. That's it. Now I'm going to take my eye. I don't focus. I'm going for that plan. Yes. Five years' time. That's where I'm going to be. Yep. And I'm going to rule out all these other possibilities that weren't part of the plan. I've got seven children. That was never my plan. <laughs> but would I swap it for anything? Whoa, that's so much better than my plan. My plan was rubbish. So much better than my plan. So don't rule out the other possibilities. What mindfulness is really, yes we do plan, but we embrace reality. Yeah, because there are so many possibilities here in the moment that are outside of our plan. Uh, so we can adapt and change and use what's here rather than resisting what's here because we're not what we thought was coming. Okay, we had a little bit of planning for this weekend. Actually, we didn't plan to sit in the woods until this morning. Should we have gone over there because it wasn't part of the plan? Well, the weather in April presented with an opportunity you could never plan for. So we use it. Do you see, that's the art of mindfulness. It's, it's kind of flowing with reality and having very little to do with unreality. You're getting the idea.